Let's get started setting up a chart. I have quotes on the left and I have a chart on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and hover my mouse over this icon here, click on it. It'll show me all the different chart types that I could add. We'll go ahead and change it to a candle. The time frame button here, I could change my time frames. I'll go ahead and just change that to a day chart. And now I have a daily candlestick chart. The next is a little icon, it looks like a gear. I'm gonna click on that. It'll just show me how my chart's configured so far. This will become more important once we add indicators and other things to the chart. Let's go to the next button and that's the indicator button. I'm gonna go ahead and add a exponential moving average. Now I'll get a dialog box and I have some choices to make. And I'm gonna click save and then you'll see I've added that moving average to the chart. Now, going back to the gear, I have another element here. I have that moving average I just added. I could delete it or I could click on it and it'll give me the ability to change it again. Templates, I could save different templates with different indicators and different pieces of information. You could change your crosshairs. You could add a data box and your drawing tools. You could draw lines and fib retracements and all that stuff. Just click on one and then just draw a fib any way you'd like on the chart. Click again and you've added your fib retracement. You could go ahead and lock menu and that way you won't accidentally delete something move something change something lastly to add another chart i'm going to go to the upper left hand corner i'm going to click on plus and then i'm going to look for the chart button i'm going to grab it with my mouse i'm going to pull it to the area in which i'd like it to be i'm going to release and now i have another chart book let's go ahead and add the nasdaq it really is that simple hope that helps